General session here with the uh, Webster County Board, and we are going to vote. Uh, I'll make a motion to proceed with option A. Okay, we have a first and a second for option A. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Who was All eyes from Webster. All eyes from Webster. I think it was Nick. No one opposed. Option A carries. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. I think we're Thank you. good here. Yep. Yep. Let us know when you hear something. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Will you throw the switch on that thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Can I just... Thank you. you. Just shut her down. Yeah. Cat form is stuck in here. It got stuffy when she shut it off, that's for sure. Well, it beats it. At home, I just find the pin table. Sometimes you've got to do like this to it. <laughs> <laughs> in front of us for the clean out of said ditch. And number 10 is just start or around right north of Gary Jensen's property. I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard about this, so I don't, I guess that's what I'm here for. See what's going on. Well, this is new to us, too. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is Allen, Peterson, and Douglas. Yeah. Sorry. Isn't it? Yeah, and they're far, they're farther down the ditch, you know, so it's, they're affected by the same. Is this pretty much that picture of compass? This is it. Yeah, they'd be laying. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. Um, the red, the red there might be a little 16. at the outlet to the east. Where? Down here. Up over here. Over here. Where you at? The red line is 169. And this is Highway 169. Yeah. And so there's a, I don't know if we can do anything with the outlet part, but it might need some attention. You can go down 200 yards usually. It looks like it's been. This is not. This is not. That's a, yeah, that's seven. Just that one. Uh oh, we're getting big plans. We're going to get to the big big. Yeah, there's don't need my cheaters for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Does help. That'd be 169. Square rule would be like that. No, here 169. This DD29 starts right here. That bloody run. Mm -hmm. And then this is all no man's land back to the river. Uh, and then it follows through here. It's not, not very long, but comes back into here. About what? One, two, three miles, four miles long? Probably, probably not even that. Two and a, two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, yeah. And there's that, that'd be the end of it. Two and then there's, but they've been, uh, but it is, it's, we got stuff sloughed off through the whole thing. And I guess that's what I was wondering, what, what the plan is. Because in 1979, it was clean. And I know there was uh, a bridge taken out by my place and a culvert put in. Well, we always question the size of the culvert, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Is it a steel or is it a steel, steel pipe? Yep. Okay. But here on 169, it's a big concrete box culvert. Box culvert. And you know, at the time, I think they wanted there, there was just as much cost in redoing that as dredging the whole. Oh, thing. I'm sure. Yeah. And I don't remember again. This that's before my time almost, but. 
this dredge ditch, it has good fall on it for part of it, and then it goes flat, and then good fall. What they wanted to do at the time was re-dredge it, but when it got in that box, box cover, we're going to change the depth of that. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. They changed the it's just, just way too crazy. But it's sloughing off, and we are having issues with it. But, you know, that's what we wonder. Is, is, it, is it just a clean it in spots? Is it clean it in... You know, from one end to the other. I mean, we're almost feeling like it could use the whole thing. But, but there has been numerous studies done on this one. Uh, I think the last one was done in 2004, but I don't know how complete. You know, did it? Did it? I know it was on several pile. There's a big. Remember when we did the the egg drain well project on that? We had a whole. Well, I think we added 700 acres up on the west end. Uh, we took away green wells and put big tile in there. So we do have a lot more water you know, mm -hmm. now than we did before. But So you might have some concerns on the pipe on what is that street? This, this one here. What, on the side you got concerns on that? Side. Yeah, this uh, this is to the north side of it. This is still existing. That's the mm -hmm. same what is that the south right here? No, the culvert through the road, or the pipe through the road here. That'd be right here. Yeah, what is that road? That's, 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 that's Kentucky. That's, that's, Kentucky. that's Kentucky? Yes. So so I foot? believe it's a seven-footer. I'm, I'm not positive it was installed before I started with mm -hmm. the county. Yeah, that, like I said, I think it was, it was 79. It was done, we took the bridge out and took the pipe in. You were really young in 79. <laughs> I'm still really young. That's right. <laughs> Just don't look too close. <laughs> Can't write really fast now. <laughs> yeah. Gary Jensen, young at heart. There he is. You know that word. <laughs> yes, sir, I do. <clears throat> but, it was, it's, uh, but it needs to be cleaned. And I, I don't know. Uh, Dave Hunter and I were talking about it. Just a little bit, and it's to have somebody go in there and just touch it up. I we feel like it'd be better to do either go back yeah. to the studies and see what's there. I mean, do you think you, do you think it needs to be surveyed and get the elevations corrected? Like sometimes yeah. we find that when they dug them many many years ago, they clean them to the hard bottom. That still it's not originally done properly properly the first time. Yeah. So, so cleaning it to the hard bottom a lot of times isn't the best thing to do. Right. We you just need to hire an engineer and have them go in and figure it out and then decide and get it cleaned and you don't want it spot clean because that does not work in some way. Well, just it, there's a lot of acres go through that anymore. Jim, what did you say? 750 extra acres? Well, is this the last time? I know they added seven, 700. Mm -hmm. You know, that was to the, to the original. But then, like I say, we got to add grain wells. That got closed. Well, that now got down closed, so all those acres got. So we're dealing with a lot more water than we were 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, it was designed for that originally. Yeah. But it was. Uh, but it just, you know, we just like to have. I think either from the information they've got from the studies in the past, or to, to check, double check it, and let's just see what we got, and then make the evaluation. You know, do we do we go for a complete cleaning, or do we go for uh, just maybe it maybe it does need spots. I don't know. Well, but without checking it, chances out. are it hasn't cleaned out at all. Nothing since 1979. Not that I'm aware. Of. That's it, that's 40 years. It needs to be. Yeah. It, it needs, needs to be. Needs needs and obviously, given the fall of that, some places will be more and some will be less. But right. it can that a complete clean out is better than it's done. Yeah. It just it's just if we. You know, if we get it, if we get it, if we get the numbers. Then when you said there was engineering done on this in 2004, there was engineering. Would you have a record of that? I think so. Might be there. Yeah, you know, section one of what when they did when they did uh, lateral H and I, which were the ones to the south, that was 2004. And then I know there was a study done in '92 and in '79. I don't. It's not in this. Uh, this was done by Western Guard. Um, yeah, 79 is an engineering report. 
a drainage study in 92 and 93, which resulted in the ag drain well closure. And then uh, 2004, I think that was that was one that was a mistake. <laughs> they did a study. There was talk about a, a, a short tile being replaced, and they did study the whole thing. And we fought it because that's not what we asked for. We asked for one tile line to be you know, re-examined. And uh, so they should have, you know, it wasn't intended to be done, but it got done, so those numbers should be there. Mm -hmm. And there should, you know, there should be able to get the profile of, of the ditch anyway. Then we know. Yeah. I guess that's our feeling is we just, you know, rather than just go in there and, you know, hit the high points, yeah. let's take a look at it. Let's make that decision after we get to study and we report them on. The landowners pay for this, obviously, mm -hmm. right. that are in this district, that are in GD29. I don't know if you wanted to make a comment on some of our ditch cleaning minus engineering. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, we had one clean. It, we, we cleaned Humboldt's portion of it. It's a joint one with Webster. And the, the upper end was the worst, of course. It was silted in. And we hired a guy. He come in there. I went out with him. We probed it. It went anywhere from about three feet of silt down to a foot. Sure. So we went down to a half mile into Webster and cleaned, cleaned the upper end. At 30, 30 Two thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and that was twice this size, probably, or close to twice this length. Um, but if the ditch wasn't done correctly the first time, cleaning it back to original isn't going to benefit you a whole lot. And when we were probing this one out here, somebody had overdug the center of it because we went from three foot of silt to a foot of silt to three foot of silt to a foot of silt. So it was going like this, you know. It kind of, you know, it's back to this, this headache you guys have been fighting for quite a while now. It's oversight. You know, it's got to be, somebody's got to look, watch this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, uh, don't want to have to, but that's what's turned into. Yeah. Uh, we've, well, I mean, you, you, you know contractors that do this for a living, so to speak. Sure and reputable contractors that have cleaned out dozens and hundreds of miles of ditch typically go very little off engineering before us. They, they know what they're they, doing. They go by the field of the ditch, but yeah. what I'm saying, if the ditch wasn't done correctly the first time, it will still be incorrect when it gets done cleaning. Right. So if you're looking for an engineering board, I think we should have somebody survey it. If that's what you're thinking, the ditch is I mean, correct. Request of the land. Yeah, it's your money. Because well, I'm just saying, you know, I'm kind of surprised, you know, that uh, Petersons aren't here right now because I mean they have to have a goal of this. Mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I just did they say anything to us when they brought it in? No. <laughs> petition. Just yeah. Petition to where it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm. This is just when you already mentioned uh, past engineering reports. Mm -hmm. I mean, entirely up to what the consensus of the district is, but is it worth revisiting? You said 2004, they did a report, not that they needed to, but was done. Right. Things are not going to change particularly with Elevate if it was done properly. That is still quite valid, I would think, because when you get into in engineering, it, it's expensive. Yeah, it'll be ten thousand dollars. They're usually good for two years. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm yeah. asking. Let's do it right. Maybe it'll last another four years. Yeah, because like I said, we found out here in this ditch out there, somewhere in the past they've overdug it, or maybe it was yeah. done that way originally, because you know you should go from three feet of silt gradually down to nothing, not three to one to three to one. So. So did. When they petitioned for this, did they uh, file a bond or, or No. So they just petitioned it to look into it? No bond is needed anymore, I guess, according to our legal, because of this would be a maintenance situation if it was 
An establishment of something new. Or an improvement. So in cleaning this or spot cleaning or taking this back to original grade, what, what's, what we're saying is we, we don't have to have this engineered. It's up to your discretion. If you want it engineered, surveyed. Um, well, that's our feeling. And I guess, like I say, we just don't know, you know what the intent of Peter's is. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was just, they saw some weeds in there, so we need to get them out. You know, maybe that's all they're thinking. But we're, we're just talking about, we've talked about this for a long time. This mm -hmm. is something How many acres are in you know, this strange district? Roughly. Do you, guys, do you guys have any idea how many acres are in this district, roughly? I'm guessing this is not what this is called clean out, but. It's going to be a couple thousand acres, right? It should be now. Yeah. A couple thousand, yeah. So you're probably five bucks an acre for the engineering. They took out the grain wash they added it to the end of this ditch. Okay. You know, you know, Bruce, on the bright gate blacktop where that rough spot is where that creek starts, they dug all that up and put that big pipe in there and went up and took the old drain wall down. So we got a lot of extra water out of that coming this way. So my question is, do we have to ask Peterson to... No, I don't think we do. We don't have to ask them if they would be fully question engineering. engineering. No. But these guys, well, they didn't sign this petition. Yeah. He did. Yeah. That's, that's what I, I, I think as trustees, it's our decision whether we want it engineered. We ask farmers our opinion, and it's our decision as trustees to I guess do I it one way or the other. find out what they were thinking. We can do whatever we want. Okay. Okay. He was one of the uh, okay. If it's a request for maintenance, I think you have to. Well, the, the, the request is to evaluate the open ditch for cleanup. That's the evaluation. That's what they're requesting. Um, evaluate it. Well, and what we've done on two. One that just got completed that you yeah. described. And we have another one, same contractor. They're again, reputable ditch cleaning contractor is doing the same thing. Uh, there is no petition, there is nothing, there's no engineering because it's kind of a cut and dry deal and it is way less expensive. Yeah. So. And I think it's there. I don't know that one, but you consider, I mean, it was. In Humboldt County's portion, virtually a complete clean out, was it not? Yeah. Just a they, they, were, they went from, like I, like I say, a half mile into Webster and cleaned the whole way to the end. Um, but, like I said, there was something, the, the bottom wasn't right in that ditch. Because you shouldn't go from three feet of silt, one right. feet of silt, three but feet of silt. But they were able to. But he it. cleaned it, yeah. And knew it properly. Yeah. And he went out and take a look when he was done, and it was a good yeah, job. Yeah, well good done. job. Uh, Dave, did you say there was like five, six feet of silt, possibly? I'd say there is in places, and there's a chance because the way the water's going around from bank to bank. It's, it's starting to cut it bank. Yeah, because that's what it does. Once it sloughs, then it starts snaking, and then it eats into the bank worse. And but that's, they're going to move a lot of dirt in places there, too. Yeah, that, that, I guess that's our question though, it's uh, you know go take the tops off, yeah, it's gonna help. Mm -hmm. But in like you know, I, and I don't know who you're talking about, it doesn't make a difference. But, uh, I guess to go into this I guess if we have a study done on it, then we know where we're at. We're taking out X amount of yeah. big yards of dirt. Boom. And there'll be there'll be a dollar for that. Yeah. If we don't, you know, it is difficult. We have yeah. this is so severe, like like David said. They might spend the rest of the year up. Mm -hmm. And you know, possibly this is one that you can't keep under the yeah. repair limit cost. And what what is that? Right now it's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Okay, one that's. Now I'm not going to say one. No, and we. It's, it's, like it's, it's up to the district landowners. That really. Do you have an engineering firm that would be of interest to use? I haven't talked to anybody about this. I have not. But uh, that young kid that's coming from Wolf and Mate now, that Colin Kings, oh. Kingsford or whatever his name is, 
there's a sharp young man. I think he was out and looked at our other project we got going on, and there's a good young man there. And I'm assuming he'd be doing some of this too, probably. I don't know if you people have met him yet or not, but I met him. nice young guy, very knowledgeable. We got McClure's that young kid that did this. Preliminary up there when you hired him for a second opinion. That there's their kid. Is really a good kid too out of Fort Dodge. Mm -hmm. And make sure they're the field inspectors for the engineering company. Do you know either one of those? The companies? Yeah, I'm familiar with both companies. I'm not familiar with Colin. Uh, McClure, I'm not sure if that's uh, Dan Weedmeyer. But he's the engineer. He 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 make sure there's a field guy. Yeah, I haven't met their field I know. This yeah. young kid, he lives, what, at Lake City or Sac City or something? And to be, uh, yeah, he's a nice kid, too. He's yeah. really knowledgeable, also. I, well, I'm only going to make a suggestion that, first of all, as far as this project, I would probably venture to guess it wouldn't be done this year at this point, given the contractors that you would. Want. The local guys, I think, are too busy to get yes. it done this year. And they've got, we know what they're doing, and they want the, mm -hmm. you know, ability to get in there. They're, they need to get finished up where they are. So it's probably going to be a next year project anyway. And this this one here, if it gets over, the estimate over that 50000 then it has to go out to public bids. Sure. So then you take the risk of getting whoever because we've had a couple of those whoever's and they weren't very good. But even even at the very least, if you do the study, then you know. You know. Yeah. And, and even to go back to one of the local guys, they're going to know. They'll be able to see yeah. the cuts and, and fill it. And you got the, didn't you say it was done in 2000? Well, I don't know how complete. No, I know, but I'm just yeah, saying that right. they got some of the material that isn't going to vary much from what it was in 2000, yeah. early. It is. Uh, but yeah, there, there could be a wealth of knowledge in there from those reports. I don't have those, but it's uh, it'd be worth looking at. It appears that it probably would be, and that's why I mentioned it's it's not going to start. If you have this all in place, it's not going to start next week anyway. Right. Then maybe the due diligence would be to check on some of these things that were brought up. Uh, not much for tabling things, but certainly for a couple of weeks. And then uh, do a little more research mm -hmm. and see, see where we might fall out with this. Because, you know, I think one thing as a Board of Supervisors, we maintain the best of our ability being fiscally responsible. So then you go to the drainage side and being the trustees, same thing, fiscally responsible. We don't look what they want to spend yeah. all those money right. if there's no need for. And what I'm afraid of, if you include an engineering report, that would probably cruise into that 50000 Yeah, I could get you don't have to go to bid. So if you already have a $20,000 engineering report to tell you what's going on, you don't have much to work with for hiring someone without yeah. it and, and keeping it away from going off the bids. Uh, on the engineer. Is that you guys as trustees make that call, or us as landlords? We make we make the we hire an engineer. We take we take recommendations. Right. Recommendations. Yeah. Input from the landowner, just like David had mentioned, yeah. when you have familiarity. Uh, but Rick also made a valid point. If this is something that goes to bid, and it's just like any other project, the lowest bid wins, and that's mm -hmm. a, that can be a rough deal. Unless we have reasonable, reasonable cause. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So they know. The, uh, I guess my thoughts would be, if we knew who did, and maybe this is wrong, but I am a little bit in business. Yeah, you, you know, you know. <laughs> well, I'll put that in the seat of the <laughs> But I just, I wouldn't mind having a conversation with the engineer and just say, this is our thoughts. Yes. You know, you look at it and tell us whether we'll pull it or, we, you know, are we on the right track? Mm -hmm. well, you should be able to have input into it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that, that one makes sense to me. Yeah. But, you know, and, and, you know obviously, we're not going to tell them what to do, but we're right. going you know, just show them what, what our thoughts are, what our thinking is. And, uh, is it completely dry? 
it, it yeah, it's dry up there. It's the closest it's been. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a good time to do a study. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sure they, they can see what's, what's actually going on. You get your hands on that other study to see what it has in it. And, and, I mean, there should be the profile from the original. Like, yeah, they have If there's mistakes yeah. in it, you know, you know, we won't know that until it's surveyed. Yeah. But at least we would know, you know what the highs and lows are. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be little research involved over the next week or two uh, that is on file. Those engineering reports are on file. Right. Yeah. And it's well, it's just imagining that uh, rather than, you know, redo something entirely that might come back with almost the same results right. and spend a lot of money doing it, that might answer some questions. I guess if you see that information and don't feel that the questions are adequately answered, you might have to start over. And yeah, yeah, that's what it calls for, and that's what it calls for. I mean, that's understandable. But that's, I think, where the conversation with the engineer would be. Right. He knows where we're coming from. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'll make a motion so, to accept this petition, but we will hold off on hiring an engineer until we get more information. Okay. I'll second. Who is the second? Sam. Okay. Any day. Any day. Any day. The second and the third, so we have that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Petition accepted. More research needed. So that means you don't find any relevant information. We'll have to do a little research and see what you can dig out. Well, you don't have to. I'm just going to say the truth. We have to share a little bit. We visited a little bit about the uh, nice. down by the fairgrounds. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we are working on 13 in a flying paddock. The uh, when I talked to you before, Trish, I think we kind of decided that was 13. We were on the 24 inch that went through the center of the the racetrack on the fairgrounds. Uh, what we've got is. We dug up an area with 24 inch tiles half full of dirt and at the outlet it's empty. So we got a plug under the track or somewhere in between. You know, when you say track, I'm hoping you're saying racetrack. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, uh, uh, I don't know what's, there is one tree, my guys are down there right now, they're digging on it, but uh, there is one tree dead center on top of this tile. Just a sneaking suspicion of a big rip ball. Might have a flood. Uh, then we won't have to have a track. And so we're trying that to. That would be a lot of trouble with the uh, horse people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the numbers are not quite against me. <laughs> but, uh, but so we are working on that. Um, it was mentioned to me that on 13A, and then there's the city has uh, their storm system that was parallel to the east side of the track. That's also where the gas main runs, that's also where fiber optic runs, that's where everything's there. On that fence line, it's full of trees. Mm. And that's right above 13A. And, and, uh, I don't know how that's, how you guys have got that set up you know, with the city, if that's a joint project, or if, it's, if there's an easement. Uh, they technically are the owners yeah. of 13A. We are the Bookkeeping. Yeah. You're the one. Bookkeeping. Okay. Yeah, we we do but the levying, they own it. Okay. I don't they know. Have, they have control over it, put it that way. So who makes the call on that? Are you, you guys trustees of that then? Or are you? No. I don't, I don't believe we are. Or does that go to the council? I think I, city council. Yeah. So, we need to know who the I visited with Paul on that fence line, and he yeah. said if trees are on our side, we'd gladly take them out. Yes. Just, we get to get rid of them. Yeah. And I said, but the one on the other side of the fence is not so willing to. Yeah, he, he likes trees. He likes trees, which. But typically, these all have an easement over the top of them where you can maintain I them. I think it would have to be over. 
I guess there's 13 a and then there is a strong so, so there should be almost a double easement. Mm -hmm. uh, well, anything that obstructs the drainage is fair game. It's fair game to repair. Many years ago, part of that was replaced because the roots had gotten so bad. Uh, and I believe, I believe that was part of 13A. I think Doug Morris only yeah. did quite a bit of that. I'll, I'll bet that was probably 25 years ago. Uh, but I, I think that was 13A, this kind of move, period. Of that. Yeah. But, uh, but since then, all this other stuff, you know, he was put in up in the Coast City and all that, everything's changed on that. I, I know there's yeah, there ain't near as much going in there that goes in there. And yeah. So, I guess. Well, and we also had a issue in the road ditch. Right. That turned out to be nothing. On Highway so 3? He thinks that. The state guy thinks that when they pulled that fiber off the ditch, it might have caused the, the water, water the to follow the, uh, the uh, fiber optics down the ditch. But didn't you say you had a broken a manhole, manhole up there that we think might have been where the water was running to and yeah. caused that to collapse? And that's, that's probably what got a lot of the dirt in it. It, it did. It, broke. It, it went through the side of the manhole. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we repaired it. I think we had to put a coma on that man won't sell. But uh I guess we'll sign that case Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I guess uh yeah, more an update than anything I would I guess that is kind of what I what I need to know is basically who we're working for or, or you know maybe bowling trees for the city, for the drainage district or Pulling trees, you're going for the city. <laughs> That's the easy way. <laughs> I understand. But we need to have things. You know, if we do any changes, we need to have maps there too. And I don't know. I really don't don't know how this works with the city. With what? With the drainage district. Because right. I got in on the end of 80 and 13A. When I came in, everything was done before then. Yep. I just got the filling part. Lucky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so easy. I got a thing before that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. We'll take your mail. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you just want to. All right, so do you want to check with the city, or? I can. I mean, I, and I guess that's what I'm asking is, you know, what direction do I go? Uh, Have you talked to them yet? No. About it? I haven't. Check with them. So I'll check, I will do that. I'll check with them. Uh, if you can check and see what what there is for an easement over 13 a you know, because you know, I don't know the exact location. I had locates done on the south end, and I know the fiber and the gas run right together. Pretty dang close, five or six feet away. And I know. And I think they're on the paragraph side, the whole way. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm just, I'm not positive on 13A. I think they cut out on the house on the south end. Well, it's brick to the brick house. Oh, oh, yeah. brick one. I think it might have been. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, when that storm sewer was put into the city in 54, there's a huge junction. Really? Yeah. You'll lid on that and scourge it. <laughs> <laughs> Take your way. Yeah, because I think we could. Well, if you could check on that, uh, I, you know, I don't mean to ask you know, to tell you what to do, but I guess that's my question. Yeah, well. It would be the, the easement part of, part of it, where I can and can't work, and uh, and then I'll find out with the city what they're preparing on that. Maybe. Well, yeah. Really, what should we do? Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not cheap. I mean, we're thinking right now we got a 24 inch dial full of roots. Oh, yeah. 
That's where it looks. That's it. Uh, it is. And this is this is bigger yet on the other end, both for city and for the district. And all it takes is one, one that starts and yep. then it starts backing up and we got a mess. Yep. So you're saying the fiber optic goes right along there also? Right along the fence. Oh, cool. Yeah. I, I didn't have it located the whole length of the fairgrounds, but I know it's pretty tight. So that's something else to consider in taking out the tree then? Well, yeah. Yeah, you I mean, pull, pull, pull a tree right out, here comes the cable with it. You know, then that's good too. A deal like that, kind of what we've done in the past, we just cut them and they don't store it on. Tore it on on them and kill them. We don't have to say we're going to pull on it and say, no boy. Yeah, somebody needs to fix this. <laughs> can the rotor rooter take out those? Or is that too it, large of a tile? It's a, you can do that. There are there are machines big enough to do that, but it's temporary. Right. Until, until you, you, kill you got to kill the trees. You got to kill. And I've even been told uh, you got to kill them. Wait a couple of years, they say. I remember, yeah, this was right yeah. Quebec. I was talking to her once, and I said, "What happens?" And she says, "Even after you kill the tree, the roots will still continue to grow for five years." Jeez. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, it's not even really a, a quick fix because it's gonna, it's gonna come back. The same bunch of dead, they're dead, but they're not. They're not. Yeah. They're yeah. still being, they're still being sustained. So, so yeah, so. I mean, that would be an emergency fix, would be open, just to open it up. I wouldn't look at that as maintenance even though. Mm -hmm. I mean, we fight that with sanitary sewers all the time, too. Yeah. We always end up coming back. You always come back and have to yeah. put a new, a new one in. Just, there's always... Job security. Yeah. Job <laughs> security, though. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jerry, you can do it on the Social Security. Yeah. 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 Do I have anything else? Uh, anything else in drainage? That's all I got. Thank you. Thanks, Jerry. Thank, Thank you, guys. Yeah. Anything else in drainage? The only thing I, know, I have is I did look through the um, uh, contract with um, King Construction, contracting, whatever they are with 35 branch C and it does say in there provide a photograph to the engineer showing each tile connection before it is backfilled must include adequate location information from each photograph providing the engineer with the GPS location of each tile location and the size of material of each tile connected. Mm -hmm. So Rick called me last week or so, Hopper, and so they got a hold of Jordan, no, is it Jordan? Jordan. Yeah, yeah Jordan. Jordan. And he is more than willing to help out on this. They didn't leave on bad terms or anything like that, so um, he says that the contracting company did not provide that information. It's not our problem, that's his problem, because it says in his contract that he's going to have it. Yeah, well, that's well, that's 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 responsibility to get it. Yeah. Right. So it's also an air contract. Yeah, right. they, they, both, they have to get it. Yeah. yeah. So they know what was being provided. If they didn't get it, they had to go ask. Yeah, they should have said, hey, right then and there, you didn't give it right. to us, we want it now. Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy So that makes you wonder also on engineering. Do you guys have contracts with engineering? You engineer your own, I'm sure. Yeah, since I started here, we do all of our own. Oh mm -hmm. boy. Did you before? Uh, no. Were there uh, contracts with engineering firms? Yes. For their part to? Yes. So maybe we need to implement something. We well, already have the contract. And well, that was the contract with the contractor, mm -hmm. not the engineering firm. I mean, Essentially, they haven't provided, I don't know. I don't know where the gap is, but I think in the future, maybe have everybody covered. Everybody has to live up to their responsibility per a contract. Oh. I mean, it mm -hmm. seems to work. Effectively, if they're stuck at very roads, I don't know why. Right. We can't make it work either. Uh, I, I think. So before I was there, I know they had uh, engineering firms do bridge design and box culvert design, and they would have a, they would send out a request for 
proposals to different engineering firms, they would come back and say, well, we'll do these three culvert designs and uh, staking and inspection for X number of dollars. And then they, they could choose who they wanted. They didn't, it, by it being a request for proposal, they didn't have to take a little bid. Mm -hmm. And then they just hired what it, whatever engineering firm they wanted. And they had a signed agreement or a signed contract that they would provide those services for that X number of dollars. But yeah, there's there's multiple engineering firms around here that are more than capable. I mean, and I don't know. I think there's a part in the code where you can request bonding information and everything. And the but you've still got a bond on this project, right? Yes, but so my experience with bond is a joke. You have to sue the bonding company to get them to pay. Yeah, we that's it's it's a joke. It is an absolute joke, bonding companies. And there's no money in retained and held over. No. No. On this project, no, because it was closed out. I mean, but even when we did have on DD2, it was a yeah. We were, we were going to have to sue the bonding company to make them pay. So what good is a bond? We yeah. get typically hold back for ten percent. Ten percent of the entire job. Mm -hmm. Well, well yeah. and essentially we don't. It was recommended for completion by the engineer. The engineer. So we that should have had that information in his hand because he didn't know he was missing it because King never sent it. Well, but yet the contract that was made between engineering and the contractor states, states that, that they should have received it. So we're going after Jacobs and Westergaard. I don't. Jacobs and Westergaard is going after King. Yeah, right. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going through the people that we deal with. Is with the engineer, mm -hmm. right? Your agreements with the engineer. Yep. And the engineer is going after King for failure to provide the necessary documentation. Right. So we have other yeah. cases that are still. They aren't sure mm -hmm. that it was all handled that way. I mean, it's not just this specific one. I mean, we've had other contract or engineering firms that have had mistakes also. It's just that it would be a way to ensure that we are covered <coughs> legally. Well, probably. on this one, hit and miss. Contrary to popular opinion, we're engineers were not perfect. Well, no, I mean, things happen. I mean, yeah. you can use your license for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right there. All engineers are perfect. But the, and the trustees, and Rick has brought this up time and time again, regardless of all of this or in spite of all this, you have an as built plan prior. Then, before, we'll see, if not, it still would have been the same issue. We'd have known about it a lot sooner. Right. That's that's just a given. Right. So it's requested that the contractor keeps track of what they're doing, but then uh, the engineer also specifically requested by the landowners in the district, yeah. 35 Grand C, that they have one someone on site. That's the responsibility of the engineers in company. No one is that they need the Yeah, I'm sure. Well, if we ask you, even though you're not the contractor, but you're the representative to be out there watching it. That's your job. Right. And so, but the good thing is about this, the, they have stated, uh, Jacobs and Westergaard, that, that it is their expense, not the landowners, to yeah. do this result. It'll, it'll get resolved. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to get resolved. They'll, they'll, they'll cover the initial expense and then they'll go after King right. for their cost. They can they, uh, they, they, have, they had the agreement with King that they would right. provide all of this. Right. They can go back and forth, but the bottom line for us as the trustees is to get the correct information as built for the land. Yep. Well, the other side of the coin is, is the future endeavors. We want to figure out how we can make this work smoother. Right. And I still believe that you just, when they request payment, you whatever you dug, whatever you buried, has to be recorded. You got all of this. Us 
with the copy. You got all the stuff, yeah. stuff to date before you get paid? Before you get a check? There you go. Know. You got your stuff just like you did. 50% of the bridge is done? Right. That's, that's where you're at. We have with the pay estimate, but the pay estimate is prepared by the engineering firm. Because, mm, because you're assuming, because the engineer supposedly has that information, which he did not. Well, he didn't have the, the connections, but he had the lineal footage that was installed, which is what you guys were based right. on. Right. Now the next step is like, Bruce is okay, in the contract, which is going to be in there, all these connections and this lineal footage are marked. Right? Well, you, they were they all ready, ready, but they didn't. Yep. I mean, but now we'll ask that question so that they can research that in case they happen. You can just include language in, in your existing contract that says retainage will not be made until approved as built drawings have been accepted, accepted. by the board. Yeah. Right? And then you can look at them, the property owners can look at them, and they say, hey, wait. Right. Right. And, and that's you still got well, you did something. something to hold back. Pretty much yeah. concise to all the stuff we've already right. discussed. And that's all good stuff. Anything else? If we didn't have yeah, all this fun stuff. Going on. Anything else for drainage? I'll make a motion to go out of drainage. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those out of drainage? I think we've got. Thank you for the here. Yes, you'll be in for this. Hey, uh, motion to adjourn. Before we go out, I want to. I got to make an announcement. This is from Diane Connors for the food pantry, which will be the mobile will be the ninth, the first Wednesday. Yep, ninth, the ninth of September. Of, yeah, she sent me a message and said, uh, "Sorry to bother you, but wanted to touch base. The mobile food pantry is Wednesday, the ninth, so yep. close to Labor Day. Um, this is why I'm contacting you early." We will do, we have a, we're going to do a drive through again, however the glitch this time is, is they want boxes filled um, before they just put it in uh, whatever. There's going to be like 280 boxes. They're looking for help on the night that would be greatly appreciated. They will wear masks, social distancing. Um, they're hopefully going to start at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Clients. We'll be there at 4.30 as usual. Thanks for listening. If anybody could help, please let her know. She's looking for any of us that would be there. Um, I guess they're going to try to get started about you four. Four for her, Bruce. Her phone number? Yeah, yeah I got it. They're going to start distributing it at 4.30, drive-through yeah, style. Right at the drive-through style. They've been going from the north end up there by the old swimming pool. They registered there, then they can download the fairgrounds and buy the building and we run out out. and if they got two boxes or whatever. So that's the way it goes. I appreciate it. They need help packing the boxes. Yep. Yeah, they're so Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Bruce. With DHS. You can't yeah. always have a reason to get out of it. I know it. It always works that way because I've always wanted to help with food pantry and I always have. It's I know it that's why I've always wanted to do it. Am I done then? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Is she is Renee going to be here on Zoom or? Uh, so. On the phone, I think. Hopefully the phone. Zoom sucks. Hi. <laughs> Tell me that I know my hearing is not be the way we very yeah, good. Well, we, got a, we got a cable that goes from here to there. Yep. So there's uh, no reason you can't it. make it work. Yeah. Well, set up and you should be able to pipe it. If we call the yeah. kids yeah. over here to grade school, it's much, much, much better sound. Figure it out. Yeah. 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 We all yeah. can look at it and say, oh, it's not work. Yes. Well, go find us an IT guy. My yeah. granddaughter yeah. takes my phone yeah. and she's like, here, yeah. here, yeah. Papa, yeah. drive. Hi. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't have a hearing yet. No. We didn't have a hearing yet. I think we already asked you to do anything else for us. Um, I did have something I wanted to give you copies of. We need to turn ourselves back on. Here. I'm still on. You on? Yeah. yeah, okay. And the camera's still on. Okay. Doesn't take any action, um, just for something for you to look at for future meetings. So that's all I had. Now you can make your motion. Now I'll make my motion. Second.
Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.